Morning folks, uh, I'm sat here beside the pump because today, well I'm kind of waiting for things to turn up so what I'm going to do is do the transfer that we started yesterday so all of these tanks have had a full tank of liquid in them to make sure that they can obviously support the weight, no issues with rocking and that kind of stuff and then I'm going to just blitz the whole place and get it looking tidy all the stainless, the everything else we're going to put upstairs in the, we've got a big storeroom up there I'm going to move all these concrete blocks that I bought to brick these windows up that in the end I didn't need all this stuff is just going to be put away so it's going to be one of those days where I just get my house in order and then we can really fire away over the next week or so when the elements arrive and put together a proper beer like on the kit, a brew. People have been asking what you're going to brew first, I think it's going to be something simple like a half batch of ESB then if it goes awry then we're not tipping too much away because I have a funny feeling that uh, it might just not turn out as we want it to so just to get everything up and running and double check the system I'm prepared to do a sacrificial batch if it fails and then once we've ironed out any creases I think we're going to run forwards and do something like the vacant which we may be calling Harrison's Blonde might change the name, I've got the copyright on vacant gesture but we shall see, I'm not sure what to do with that uh, but yeah today big tidy up, I also need to set up some type of PID controller for the HLT so we can set that to rise up to temperature the boil kettle I think will probably just manually control that for now but uh, if I can get my hands on a big enough aluminium heat sink then I will of course stick a PID on for the boil kettle elements as well and we'll control both of them via a solid state relay but like I say I need to get hold of a big chunky aluminium heat sink so if anyone knows where I can get hold of something like that and I'm talking sort of uh, 12 to 18 inches by 6 inches wide by about 4 inches deep big fins on the back so yeah if you know let me know and uh, I'll pick one up right it's gonna be a fun day time to get tidy in Just having a tidy up with all the BSP fittings and the RJT flanges and what have you and I come across this in the packet, I didn't spot it when we ordered it I might have something to do with the other week when I couldn't remember what they were called Right, things are looking a little bit nicer in here now and what I've done is I've brought this Swedish workbench in that's on loan from uh, my matey Spider and Brian uh, and what I'm going to do is give her a bit of a tart up with some grease on the vice, on the vice clamps here and I'm going to shuffle the welding table in front of the window and have this to house the plasma cutter and the TIG welder just on the bottom shelf and uh, then it'll allow me to A, use this table a little bit more and B, keep all the welding stuff over in that corner so I'm not trailing gas pipes across so just a quick jiggle around and uh, I will come back and we'll see what it looks like when I'm finished and of course, because this was a modular table as well 
I'm gonna tighten all its nuts up. visitor so I decided to get the paint can out and uh, well tidied the workshop as promised Stuart bought me a uh, one inch punch from Tiny Rebel mm. exquisite yeah so I opened the can five litres of floor paint and well I started in there and uh, I think it looked pretty grand, but I thought, well, since I'm going to use a roller, I may as well continue, so I'm unable to turn the lights off in there, unless this dries pretty sharpish. So it's already gone five o'clock, give it an hour or so, see if I can tiptoe over it while I tidy up round here and wash my hands. I've got paint over my new boots. Oh dear. Well, I managed to get down there and turn the lights off and uh, cleaned the boots. They look pretty smarty tarty. So I'm just gonna call it quits now while that paint dries for the morrow. And uh, yeah, I'm so tired. I moved all those um, breeze blocks that were over there, put them outside. I need to have a shower because I'm a bit stinky. So we'll see you tomorrow.